I'm Kamal Kamel. Hi, I'm Steven Svaltz. We have an API expert over here and I would love to have some conversation, just get to know what's happening in the API world today. So, there's a lot happening in the API world. You've all heard about uh, API security. Uh, maybe you've not heard that much about API quality. Um, my role at Cisco is to uh, organize so that the quality of all APIs is consistent across the whole portfolio. Um, yeah. So, uh, what I can tell is that, like all organizations, we have standards. Uh, we are working to evolve those standards. And today, during Cisco Live, we are educating uh, our partners and customers uh, by using the, I would say, our learnings, uh, what has been working well for us, uh, what are areas of progress, so that they can apply those learnings and improve the quality of their APIs. Yeah, and you've been working extensively with a lot of the Cisco business groups as well, right? To make sure our standards are met and our APIs are constantly improving and coming up to a standard level, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That has happened in two stages. In fact, when you go into API quality and consistency, the first step is to create standards. Standards so that you can have a North Star and engineering can go to a source of truth and understand what is the expectation. The second part of the work is to make sure that you have a way to score mm -hmm. uh, API quality. Uh, because you have consistency in your scoring system, mm -hmm. you can start, start driving changes. And, uh, and that has led us to a wonderful journey at Cisco. Mm -hmm. We will discuss in, in future Cisco Live events uh, together, I hope, mm -hmm. about uh, some of the wins and, and progress we've been making. But during this event, this particular one, um, we've started uh, uh, educating our community mm -hmm. with the open API standard. Right, right. right. Uh, because it's really key to our approach to, to quality. For sure. Another buzzword that we've been hearing a lot is shift less security. Um, how does that relate to APIs? I'm glad you asked that. Um, I'm, not a, I'm not that much a marketing guy. So anything shift left, shift right, it takes some time for my head to, to work through this. But um, at the end of the day, what does it mean? It means that you cannot, you cannot wait till production in order to look at security. So from a developer perspective, you need to start looking early in your development lifecycle about what it means to create a secure API. Hmm. So for that purpose, uh, we've been announcing a tool we've been using and creating at Cisco and that we will open source over the next few months. Oh, nice. That tool's called APIX Manager. Right. I don't right. know if you were on Liz, yes, Liz's yes, keynote. Yes. She mentioned it. Yes, we've been hearing it on the keynote. We've heard it on a few of the events that have been happening here in, in yeah. the DevNet zone. Um, and, and we've been sharing the URL, which we will hear as well, okay, so that people can take a look at it and get familiar with the whole concept. Do you want to share a little bit more about APIX Manager? Yeah, APIX Manager, APIX means API experience. And that's really looking at your API from an outside in perspective. Mm -hmm. So, how do developers see your API. Mm -hmm. So how do you do that? You need to have a way of having an inventory of your APIs, mm -hmm. all APIs in your organization, mm -hmm. and then look at the tendency, the, um, the quality of these APIs over time. Mm -hmm. So for that, you need two basic components. One component is the contract of your API. Right. So this open API document I was mentioning earlier, mm -hmm. you need to find a way to store it. Mm -hmm to store updates mm -hmm. of this contract. And then you also need to look at traffic, real-time traffic, mm -hmm. and see if what you observe at the API gateway mm -hmm. um, is aligned with what your API contract is supposed to be. Uh, that makes sense. That makes total sense. We have, there's two words we use a lot uh, related to live observations. Mm -hmm. You could have phantoms something that is not part of your contract. And the second part um, are zombies, like wow. zombie attack. And, and that's something you don't want to have, is some APIs that are not supposed to be here anymore, but you still see some traffic yeah. coming up. So and, and I believe there's some version situation as well with zombies. I know I, I noticed uh, Grace and, and Ken presenting a demo on that. So. It was an interesting demo, um, but can, can our users learn more about this whole 
setup of API X Manager. Sure, sure. So you, as usual, you go to developer.cisco.com slash API X dash manager, mm -hmm. and you'll find a demo explaining the concepts. Uh, you also have the ability to um, uh, fill the form. You can tell us what are your center of interest, and so that we can onboard you and uh, you can join the pilot. Um, as I said earlier, the project is going to be open source along the next few months, mm -hmm. but we are starting earlier with pilots. Okay. Um, that technology is already used internally. Right. We were showing it in the right. DevNet zone, a lot of success. Uh, so yeah, I look forward to be uh, collaborating with the community. There's also areas of collaboration we could have. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, on the Lee's keynote, uh, we announced Panoptica. Mm -hmm. uh, that technology is really worth looking at. Um, and especially a component part of it called API Clarity. Mm -hmm. uh, I imagine some of you in the Kubernetes world yeah. and API Gateway world are already aware. If, if you didn't hear of Panoptica and API Clarity, mm -hmm. yeah, you should certainly have a look. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we've had, we've had some great content generated around Panoptica and um, all the new efforts that were that were announced by Liz okay. on stage. So, um, but thank you so much for sharing your expertise, and um, we look forward to having you and and getting more clarity and understanding as we evolve this API program. And we're excited. We're really excited. It's always a pleasure. And uh, whoever's got a question in the community, um, think about DevWell as an open book. Mm -hmm. So you can come to us uh, when you go to developer.cisco.com. There's an area you can directly chat with us. And it's all the crew here, all the team inside the DevNet zone that will be responding to your questions, giving you orientation, and uh, we want to share what we learned, and we want to learn from you also. So yep. yeah, welcome yep. to DevNet. Yep.